hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jennifer your baby girl gh kings how y'all doing so on today's video i just want to go um just talk a little bit about um mercy and um what happened in your relationship and like what we can all learn from it okay um i don't talk about other youtubers or celebrities or whatever i don't talk about people's business on my youtube channel but my hair and whatnot but i feel like this particular incident um there is something that we can all learn from there's something that she herself can learn from and who, who are we not to learn you know like sometimes you know you take people's experience and then you learn from it okay you don't have to go through the situation for you to learn okay sometimes it's people experiences that you are going to be learning from basically this is one of my juices okay one of the juices that i made that i'm going to be drinking as well so with with mercy she she talked about how she was in an abusive relationship for 14 years you know she was actually engaged for seven years out of that 14 years and if i'm not mistaken i think she said something about how she I don't know if it's she that didn't want to marry the guy or something, you know, and how the guy actually verbally abused her, physically, emotionally abused her, financially abused her, you know, and you know, it's it's interesting. I, like I was sitting there when I first saw the video, I'm like, oh my God, for 14 years you were with this guy, then I realized, girl, be quiet because a lot of people are being in a situation like that just because you have not been in such situation doesn't mean other people haven't been in it or it doesn't mean like people that were in it maybe they didn't think or they weren't smart enough because mercy is a very smart young nurse okay she's very smart and she's very successful so far in her life and we all fought we all fall short one way or the other and especially women you know most of the times when it comes to relationship we are the ones that actually suffer a lot when it comes to relationship that's why i always say like you know before you actually enter into a relationship with someone you need to make sure that the person is the right person and you know i always say this in our modern world right we tend not to pray we tend to seek god's face when we are already engaged to someone and about to uh, marry that's when we tend to go to god and like god is this man the one when god is like ah, you already made the choice you already accepted his proposal for marriage why are you asking me you know it's like someone or uh, maybe traveling to maybe let's say you want to go to miami on a trip or uh, you know and you already book your ticket you you are there you are there um you are at the airport you're about to board the flight and you're asking about god I, 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 should i go or something you know it, it makes no sense you made your, your, your decision you know and i'm creating this video because it's a way that we young people especially black women we can learn african women we can learn from just our sister situation okay um when you meet someone i always say this and it's also from experience when you meet someone the person doesn't have to be like oh you, um i like you blah 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 once you notice someone looking at you in a way you know and you're getting the vibe that the person likes you take you to god that moment you, it doesn't hurt okay it's it's better you do that then you wait for the person to ask you i'll be in a relationship with the person for years and for you to go through something like she just went through you know but if you when you meet someone before the person even ask you out, once you sensing like the person like you you know maybe sometimes it's your head that may be deceiving you but even that it is it is better for you to take it to god and pray about it you know for god to give you an answer okay so it's really important that when you meet people that's what that's what i'm going with all this video it's really important as a child of God, as a Christian, even if you don't really believe in God like that, take this, take this, take this advice. You miss someone, the person likes you, pray about it. Ask God, God, how 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 far about how how far with this person? Like who is this person? Let, let me get to know this person. You know, because you don't want a situation where you waste 40. You, do, you know, 40 years is like a teenager, okay? You don't want a situation where you wait you waste. 14 good years of your life with one person you come out of that relationship the only love that you know is the love that that person showed you and what kind of love did this man even show her so you come out of this relationship you enter into another relationship probably scared not even knowing what love is not even not even knowing how to express yourself because you didn't get a chance to do all that because you were attached to someone for 14 good years and the person just mistreated you the person you know it's it's just oh my god i saw that video i'm like i felt for her i felt for her 
and this some people are saying like she's like rushing into her next relationship my my own thing is like it doesn't matter like if you come out of a relationship it doesn't matter like it, it's up to you and how long you heal maybe in her relationship maybe she has been emotionally detached from this man for years it's just she is scared to move out of that relationship so nobody is to judge her and uh, uh and also like it to me it's not even how far or how far you wait till you start dating again that's not the thing because it might be that whoever she found now is of god it might be that it's not so my thing is like if you were in the situation like that you came out of it you met someone you better pray you don't just jump into another relationship because some people use that as a comfort zone they will use this new man new woman as a comfort zone you know so that they feel like secured and safe so they don't feel hurt but that's also wrong you know like ask like they want pity or some kind of attachment to this person because of what they went through that's also wrong so honestly if you came out of a relationship a, a relationship like that you know um and you meet someone else yo you better pray you better pray okay you better pray because you don't want to waste your time in another relationship again no you better pray so all these sisters that are on youtube feeling sorry for mercy saying i'm sorry i'm of course feeling sad for her of course we ought to feel sad for her we know we ought to pray that god comfort comfort her and her daughter at this point in her life because she wasted 14 good years of her life with someone that was abusive to her and she finally opened up to her you know and we should all pray that whoever she is right now you know like god strengthen the man okay because this woman has really not experienced what love is before you know all she has been in is darkness and like you basically like the light in her, in her life right now she might be scared she might feel vulnerable so you know we also ought to pray for that guy okay that's in a scene with her right now and you know as we we the ones that are sitting behind apart from praying for her we need to pick one or two things from this story and this is all youtubers are a lot of youtubers entertainment entertainers you know are talking about this but they're not really talking about the the they're not really talking about how we ourselves can learn from this situation they're not talking about that and i'm here to share that with you okay we need to learn we need to learn we need to learn from other people's mistakes mistakes that they made in their relationship especially if you're single like you sitting there watching me you, you need to learn you need to learn okay she herself she has learned from that situation that's why she's out of it so you watching this video you need to learn because it's not every guy that comes that is looking all angelic is angelic it's not every woman that you meet that's looking all angelic is angelic some people have this innocent looking face they are so abusive you will not know until you've been with them for so long and they are so manipulative to the extent that you can't even get rid of them you try to get rid of them you don't know they find themselves back in your life and those people are very dangerous okay they are so dangerous and like what she was saying, like how this guy is, was telling her to give him to give him fourteen thousand dollars, or she's going, he's going to go public with her business, knowing how well this lady is private. She gave you the money and you still went out. So this, you know, this, when the when we, um the Bible talks about um what you call it um household wickedness. This is example. Yo, I don't wanna go all. <laughs> in deep in this when the bible talks about household wickedness this is, this is a perfect example of household wickedness okay you may be like how is this household wickedness they were together for 14 years they already like spiritually you know, these people these two people are one they have a child they how long have they been sleeping together spiritually they they already won okay they already won in case they don't know they already won so now she's starting on afresh like i said we need to pray for this lady and uh whatever relationship she's in right now will end with as in marriage and she will not be abused in this relationship she's young pretty smart very successful in her career and she deserves mr right you know but at the same time at the same time she's sitting there we need to learn we need to learn from what happened to her we need to learn from what happened to her you know we need to learn some people are in an abusive relationship right now they can't come out some people came out they can't move on because the abuser keep coming in, in and out of their lives you know and those that are single you know we also need to pray because you, you need to pray for whoever is going to come your way and you need to pray when whenever you meet someone the first thing when you start developing feelings for somebody like me when whenever i miss not even meet whenever i find myself having a crush on somebody i take it straight to god like god 
I'm having a crush on this person. You need to be blunt with God. Because who, who are you deceiving? I'm like, God, I'm having a crush on this person. Let me know if this person is the one. Let me know if this person is the one. I mean, I'm still single, so I guess all of them, you're not the one. <laughs> right? And if it's not the one, I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, since this person, so, so, and so, it's not the one. Remove this feeling that I'm having towards this person from my heart and fill me with more of you. Okay? It's that simple. It's that simple. Don't rush into no relationship. Okay? Because it's better to be single. Okay? It's better to be single for 14 years. Okay? And live your life and be successful than to be in an abusive relationship or marriage. It's, it's better to be single. Okay? Because what is the point of having a man around you when he's abusing you? What is the point of having a woman around you when she's abusing you? If you're in an abusive relationship, you need to open up. Open up to someone. Okay? Open up to someone. This lady is very lucky that she made it through the 14 years. Some people committed suicide. Some people had bipolar disorder. Some people had depression, anxiety. Some people, their partners murdered them. Because they probably hit their, their head against the wall or something. I, like, you know, it, it's just crazy. How do you en how how do you engage somebody's daughter for seven good years of her life? How like how wicked is that? You engage somebody for seven good years? Like, are you okay? So basically, you are trapping this human being. You don't want this human being go. Because if you're not engaged to her, she's probably not gonna be with you. So you what what you do? Put her in the middle, engage her, and not marry her. That goes to y'all out there. If one man like that has engaged you for more than two years, the man is not saying anything about marriage. You need to start, in fact, start asking questions and start. Be praying. Be praying. Okay? Because I don't see the point of engaging somebody when you're not ready to marry the person. That's another thing. I don't see the point. Once you engage somebody, it means you're ready to settle down. Why, why are you engaging somebody if you're not ready to marry the person? You're basically tying the person down from other people. That's what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. You're tying the person down from meeting other people, from dating other people, from being in a relationship. Because if the person decides to be in another relationship, what do you call that? The person is cheating, right? But you yourself, you're not marrying the person. You, you become a, a, a roadblock. You, you have become, what, what is this one? You have become a Red Sea. Honestly, you become a, we're going back to the trial of it, okay? You become a Red Sea in somebody's life right, right there. You become a Red Sea. You, you don't want the person to go. You, you don't want the person manipulative it makes no sense so i think i'm done with this video i just wanted you guys to also be aware apart from being having sympathy on a uh, sympathy and empathy for mercy i hope we all learn it from her situation we don't have to go through a situation like that to learn 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 from me right now learn from me right here and there if you thought there wasn't anything to learn from from what um, she went through. I have given you a, a perfect example. You meet someone, you like the person, you better start praying. You know, our generation, we don't like praying, especially the young ones. No, or we, what, what do we like to do? Online dating. If it's not online dating, okay, we're going out, we're hanging out, we're dating, we're going to the club, we, 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 we're smoking, we're drinking, we're hanging out, we're going to parties, we meet somebody. Oh, I like him. Oh, he likes me. We start dating, we start sleeping around before we know. The, the person is already pregnant. If not, the person engaged you, you because you did not pray and you did not know if the person is the right person or wrong person. You get married, you have one child, two children, within five years divorce, and then you go back to square one. The neighborhood that you used to live in, that's where you go back. Now you're collecting child support and then you wonder, you, you, you put your stress on the, on, on the children as if they, they, they beg you to give birth to them. Giving birth, <laughs> I have, as I have learned, it's a, it's a blessing. But it's, it's really selfish if you, you, you're not even re re willing or ready to, care, to take care of the, those children. So you bring these children to the world and then you put your stress on, on them as if they, they, they ask you, as if they beg you to bring them to this world. You know, we ought to learn. But if these little things, things that we, 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 we act as if they don't exist, you know, like sometimes we act as if God doesn't exist. We, we, rem we remember God when we're on the altar. When we are saying for better or for worse, that's the only time we remember that we need to add God in the in, in the equation. Right then we add God. By the time we leave that place, we have not we remove God from our our, our marital whole thing again. Unless we, we we get into trouble, then like oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, you need to uh, you need to add God now. 
Now that you liking that boy, now I don't even know it's a man or boy you liking right now. Right now you liking that boy, you liking that man. Right now liking that lady, that girl. You need to start praying about it because the last thing you want to do is to enter a horrible relationship. You know, sometimes when people enter into a horrible relationship, they end up marrying the person. Not that they even want to marry the person, but because they've been with the person so long that they feel ashamed not to marry the person because they're scared the society will begin to ask them questions like, ah, you are with me, so and so you are with brother, so and so you are with this sister. For this long, and you did not marry the person. You know, but it is only you that are not the pepe that is peppering you. No, apart from you and God and whoever you wait, nobody knows the pepper that you are going through. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the secrets in your relationship. Nobody knows. So be very careful. Be very, very careful with who you start to see, who you date. Be very careful, especially if you are a successful young woman. Be very careful the kind of man you decide to bring into your life, okay? Be very, very, very careful. And some people are saying, oh, the man that she's dating now, oh, she is, he is far much better than um, the guy that he was. And so, how, and so what, how is that your business? I have a question though. If it's your sister or it's you, would you go from a bad relationship to a, to a worse relationship? Or would you go from a bad relationship to a good relationship? Like, come on. The girl suffered in her relationship for 14 good years. Of course, if she's, if she's going to be with someone else, why won't she be with someone better? Why would she go be with someone less of herself? This lady is very successful. Even if she is not a nurse and is working, just her YouTube, just her YouTube account, the amount of money this woman can be getting every month from YouTube alone can take care of herself and her daughter. Okay? If she decides to retire as a nurse right now. Okay? So she is successful on her own. So if she is going to be with someone, she needs to be very careful and very strategic too in choosing who she wants to be with. Okay? And of course, who, who wants to be with? I don't understand some women though. Like, they talk as if they are not women. Which woman tell me? Which woman don't? If, if you have two men standing in front of you, one is poor, one is rich. Tell me which woman would choose the poor, poor man now. Like, be honest. I'm being honest right now. And be honest, if I did not pray, okay, if I have not prayed though, and I see two brothers standing in front of me, one is broke, one is rich. Of course, I, ah, Mr. Mr. Flesh alone will let you pick the, the one that is rich. <laughs> but then again, don't, don't be that kind of person, you know, that you see two people, you, you compare their physical appearance and then you pick one. Don't be that, you know why? Because when, um, um, what you call his name? Um, Samuel the priest was picking, um, the the king he saw he saw um david he saw david's brother he thought it was david's brother because he was thick tall that was gonna be a king but god was like no it's not david's brother it is the short one the short david. it's david that he's picking because he want david is after his own heart he wants someone after his own heart so sometimes look i'm deceiving so my sisters don't be going for looks don't be saying that i've been praying i've been praying now god has brought me to him and it has to be this one <laughs> because god won't give me this one don't say that you know because you don't know what the what tomorrow holds for the other person you don't know the most important thing is that you are praying before you pick the partner you are going to be with you are praying bef before you enter into a courtship a relationship with a man okay with a woman pray it's not just oh the women are supposed to pray there, some women too are dangerous okay you have not met a dangerous woman before eh? you don't want to meet one some women are so dangerous as well. So let's not just sit there, sit here and act as if it's only men that can be dangerous or are dangerous. Some women, their own dangerousness, eh? I don't know if there is a word like that. It, it, it surpasses men. They can be dangerous to the core. <laughs> okay? Dangerous. If a woman says, I'm going to be wicked, <laughs> the woman is going to be wicked. <laughs> okay? So it goes for both men and women. So as we're looking at or uh, listening to all these things on YouTube about our celebrities and stuff like that, let's not just listen to it. Let's also pick one or two things from what happened in their relationship so that our own can be better. And if you're not in one, so that the one you're going to enter in the future, if you're not going to be a Catholic um, sister, with my sister or with my father, then I bet, I believe you want to be in a relationship or unless you want to be single for the rest of your life, like Apostle. Is it or peter that is the one that said it unless you want to be single like that eh? then don't okay but if you want to be if you want to marry like me sitting here then you need to pray when you meet someone you start having feelings for a man or a woman you need 
if you're a man, if you have a feeling for a woman, let me clear myself. You need to start praying, okay? Before the person even comes to ask God or something. Ask God. See God's face. Okay? Because at that time, your mind is clear. Your emotions are not like that attached to him. So you can pray, <laughs> you know? You can pray and not be in the flesh and God will answer you. Because when you're already in a relationship with a person, you already love the person and then you're going to pray. If God tells you the person starts your own. If I indulge you, you be like, God, no, no, no. Reverse. The person is my own. Okay? <laughs> so... Be very careful. Be very careful. That's all I want to say. Be very, very careful. Like, be very careful. I just felt like this is what I have learned from her situation. And I just wanted to share it. It's not like uh, something that I do on my channel. But it's just I feel like we can all learn from her situation. Let's not just think of it as entertainment and feel sorry for her and stuff like that. Let's learn. Let's learn from it. You know someone that's going through hell in their relationship? Help them out as well. You're going to help, help in your relationship. Get help. Get help. You've been manipulated in the relationship. Run out of that relationship. A relationship. I don't believe God is going to tell someone to be with a manipulator. I don't believe God is going to tell someone that your own husband or your own wife is going to be abusive to you. Unless God has shown you that this is the real person that is supposed to marry you. But then there, you, there are some spiritual nonsense going on in the background. Then you need to pray against Whoever is responsible for the man or the woman that God has given you or um, mistreating you, you need to pray against all those forces. But if it's not a matter of um, some witch or wizard or some demon or some ancestral thing doing you, and it's just the man is pure wicked or the woman is pure wicked because they want to be pure wicked, because they have they are close minded, then you need to run away. Okay? <laughs> you need to pack your load and run. Fly like she did. Okay? And the next relationship that you enter into, make sure you pray about it. Make sure that you see God's face and make sure that God said, yes, this is the this is the right woman. This is the right guy. There is nothing wrong with praying. There is nothing wrong with asking God if it's a man is, if a man that you like is the right person, the woman that you like is, is the right person before the person even asks you out or before the person even um, ask um, the person even ask what you call the person with um, like maybe the person says yes to your proposal or something. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's better that it's better you do it that way than enter into a relationship with a person and then find out that you are living with you are living with house or wickedness. You find out you are living with like your enemy, okay? Because relationship can make or break people. I don't know how she did it for 14 years. She says she's a strong woman. And sometimes we deceive ourselves, sometimes to be like, oh, we're strong, we're strong. Or yeah, I say, I say that to myself sometimes too. I'm strong, I'm strong. But then deep within you, you know something pain. You deep within you know like okay, you are strong, but this thing that you are being strong for, it's not worth it. Use your strength to do something that will profit your destiny. Use that strength that you have. That oh, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. Use it to do something that your generation will be like okay, okay, okay. This is good. Use use that strength that you have to to do something that will impact your life. Your destiny, your children's life, your whole generation, your entire family life. Don't use that I'm strong, I'm strong to endure nonsense like an abusive relationship. You are wasting that strength. God did not give you that strength to waste it. Okay? Because the strength that you have came from the Lord. Okay? God did not give you that strength to waste it on useless people like and useless relationships. No. Use that strength to do something impactful for your generation. Okay? I will end this video here. My juice is getting cold. It's getting cold. It's getting warm. Hmm. This one is good. This is the pineapple, um, carrot, um, kiwi, and uh, apple. It tastes really good. Oh my god! It's really good. It's really really good. Bye.